as these players were working on getting back into shape ahead of the 2012 season, their priority was and still is winning the Kenyan Premier League title. The other priority is getting recognition and an offer from a foreign club, possibly in Europe. However, the foreign recognition is not easy to come by since there are no talent scouts in the country. I think the one fact is that um, you see like our national team is, the, is, is a team which can, can make so many scouts come in Kenya, but somehow our performance is not that way good because of so many things, you see. AFC coach Jan Koops is challenging scouts to make Kenya a regular stopover in order to unearth the talent within. I think that Holland and Germany are thinking, ah, Kenya, number 120 now in the last uh, two weeks, 133, uh, there are no good players. In the absence of scouts, Kenyan players are forced to go hunting for the clubs on a trial basis. Playing in a foreign club usually comes along with a bigger pay package. I don't say it all, and I just rush here. Unangalia Sidri, Kinam Mamadun Yang, Kinas Sidri Nani Nani, one at the Warabuni Mawab. Say Muslim Chesajik Samokola and Akton in an Afkiria Tuni, Mopian is at Engazado. Nakona talent Kuba Tak to the Europe, like in an on a two in the Apoca Sabu upon the Pameza Patican. However, just a fraction of the Kenyan players have made it in Europe and Asia. In 2011, Jamal Mohamed, James Situma, Moses Arita, George Blackberry Odiambo returned home after a stint with different clubs. This year, Alan Wanga did the same. My club uh, had some issues with my agent and uh, this led to uh, a dragging of uh, me renewing a new contract with the club and the windows were, were closed before I was registered for the league. So the club opted to, to loan me to play one season in FC. So where did things go wrong for these players? And why are Kenyan players having a tough time abroad? When I signed for Tirana, I had, I had a contract with them, which was good. And they also had a contract with, the, with Sofapaka. But it reached a time when they could not like, respect the, the contract. Jamal Muhammad stayed in Romania for four months and left due to lack of pay and disrespect to his religion. Niko Kenya and Romania, team I performed Vizuri, and then I was on and off the national team. So I was new vita, I was on Ramadan. The country of choice is a major setback to Kenyans settling down in foreign clubs. AFC Leopards coach Ian Koops explains why. Not every country, country is easy to, uh, to, let's say, the football federation. When I uh, look for, the, I know, of course, very good uh, football, uh, the country Bay in Holland, then if you don't have trouble. Also by the clubs, you don't have trouble. But sometimes uh, it depends in, in other countries, let's say Albania, yeah, Vietnam, that are not uh, real football countries. Former Harambe Stars coach Gos Moulet links the players' wars abroad to a lack of sports education from an early age. I think it is our work as tactician, as a federation, to sit back and bring in programs that nurture and develop players for the future. Otherwise, we will still be lost in, in as far as international football is, is concerned. That is a sentiment Jamal Muhammad concurs with, saying Kenyan players rush to look for greener pastures when they're not well equipped to do so. Come on. Oliech, Mariga, Mugabe, how ni wacheza G, siri se matini complete amani lakini ni wacheza G wame prepare for that moment. Yani physically ni 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 so wakenda trials yani ama maluali enda walikuwa washa wakukatika levoli le wane za fitting kwa klabi yote kubwa. But most so far yani tu kona talent lakini atuwa gina preparation ya kwenda trials. The Madhari United coach says a lack of professional advice is partly to blame. Most of the players, they don't stick with their coaches who have developed them to a certain level. So that's the big problem that we are having here in Kenya. They don't concentrate with their coaches who started with them and who knows them well. A shortcut may seem the only immediate option out for Kenyan players, but the way forward certainly includes coaches and the Football Federation nurturing talent from the youth level. Until that happens, 
Kenyan players seeking fame, fortune and career growth abroad will still be firing in the dark.